Welcome back. You're listening to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Hey, Dole. I'm Eric Stromer. And pardon me just for a second while I reach in oh, here. Oh, I see. I'm just You're a, shuffling on, a, through a bag, a I've kit got, that got, looks like it could have safety this, implications. This happens to be, I wanted to bring into the studio, this is my personal um, emergency Look kit. At that. You're it is doing a pink great. backpack, and this is my car emergency kit, and I'm grabbing out, what do I have? You have a big welly boot. A big welly boot, and yeah. stuffed inside the welly boot, I have a fifth a of cu- gin. Oh, of, no, that's no, water, actually. It's bottles of water. Yeah. See, I've got that. See, yeah, and you kind of tuck that in there. And then, let's see, see what else well do I have? well organized. Oh, oh I have a nice... A, um, a sun hat. It's a nice little hat, because you never know. Anyway, you're, you're listening to Home Wizards, and we are big believers in emergency kits. Of course we are. And you never know where you're going to be in an emergency. And so thought we would walk you through the kind of things that you need to have, not only in your home. Right. Maybe under your bed, hunkered down in a big trash barrel because you might have to hang out for several weeks, but then in your car. Yeah, and and, so, and, and it's imperative that you have this stuff. And, yeah. and you know, most of us aren't going to ever be exposed to anything quite as dramatic as you'd think you would yeah. need an emergency kit for. However, I've been in these situations, really, where I was in Katrina covering a, a TV show once and mm-hmm. walking through a city that was shut down by martial law and everyone was evacuated. And really, it's so scary to be in a situation like that where money and ATMs really have no meaning anymore and you're basically relying on what you have stored or not or the friendship of friends that are neighbors to you or not and you really do have to right. kind of think about these things. I By the way, your gonna, your earthquake I, kit looks I, a little more like a fashion <laughs> shoot. Well, what this is, so <laughs> everything is very tasteful well, and, and a design. Well, those are designer items. These are, these items. are sun, sunglasses. I know you wouldn't think of needing sunglasses in your kit, but think right. of it. Let's say that you're stranded. Something right. has happened, a natural disaster, who knows what it is, and it's very, very sunny. You need to be able to protect your eyes and have yeah. a hat, even sunscreen. I've got in here my first aid kit, right? Yeah. I've got um, protein bars yeah. in a little Ziploc bag. You do. More, I have a change of clothes. I've got a nice big sweatshirt, you know, and some uh, and some sweatpants because you might be now in a situation where the weather it changes is bad. Fast you want to protect you. your skin, That's right. right? And then I have, I mean, I love having these different pouches over here. Well, I have raisins. Well, yeah. You need to have instant energy, yeah. right? Then I open up my other pocket over here, and well, you have to have your flashlight, yeah, and a you port- have that. and a portable radio, sure, you know, with some extra batteries. Here I have my extra batteries. You sure do, right? And I have a change of shoes, and I also have. You want to make sure but, that. But you have- listen, your your kit seems a- to have a whole lot to do with skin care. No, it's not just skin and, care <laughs> and fashion. No, it's not. <laughs> this is something very very important. I've got in my Ziploc bag because again yeah. it could be raining. I have a couple of notepads, a sharpie pen, right. and a pen because you might let's say that something bad happened. You're in your car, but you have to leave your car. That's the whole idea. Right. And this is a backpack. You want to be able to take it take and go. All that with you. Yeah. You keep it in the trunk of your car. Sure. But I have a couple of notepads because you might want to write down notes. Okay. Well, guess what? Your cell phone's not going to work. No, you it's not. You have no idea where you are. Go. you got to write down, like, well, I'm on this street and I'm going here, or maybe even leave a note on your car. Right. Hi, it's Cindy. I've left the car. I'm okay. Right now, it's 315. Yeah. I've, on Saturday. I've gone but, to CVS to see if I can break in and get more skincare right? products. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And then I have, um, here's my little radio with my earbuds. Yeah. Love that. I just, you know, I wanted to share what was in That's my kit. That's a really kit, good example. But, but there's more. I mean, the whole idea is to have something for your home, for your car, and and uh, maybe even for your work. So let's walk you through some of the things to think of. The most important thing, right, for your work and for your car, Yeah. you want to be able to think that you have something to be prepared for 24 hours, maybe 48 hours. So imagine that something has happened and you have to grab and go, right? You have to be able to have enough snacks and water and protective clothing and th- supplies to get from your car or from your work to your home. You might have to walk a really long way. Right. And then the other thing that you don't think of, you know, things like medication. Like, I, I never had to rely on anything in my life in terms of medication before. Now I have to take this Centroid for this 
thyroid. No thyroid yeah. deal than I have, right? Well, you want to have that in your car, well, but, but, ima- your ima- but imagine if you don't have the ability to get refills and there's nothing left. And like the first thing that comes to mind is I didn't stockpile this stuff. Right. How am I going to survive? Right? So, so you, you have, have to be to... very careful about what you keep in these kits. In and that's tricky, of, by the way, because sometimes insurance doesn't let you They don't let get you. A, yeah, a, and so more. it's like I'm, I feel like a, uh, a convict, like hoarding, hoarding one pill <laughs> per prescription going in the pile that's going to be for Save my kit. Well, right? you might want to do that. I know. And then, of course, again, for the vehicle kit, you want to make sure that you have maybe even some jumper cables if you don't already. Right. Um, and maybe even have some cat litter or sand if, let's say, that you're for better tire traction. If you're in, you know, like a like cold. Like a snow environment. Snow, yeah. 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 And then, of course, you know, with those warm clothes, like I had my hat and my boots, a change of clothes and a jacket, all those things. Right. Um, and then don't forget flares. You know no, you I mean? gotta have you gotta have flares. And then a, a fully charged cell fo- cell phone and phone charger. Now, cell phones Most aren't going to the work. Most they don't work. But you will be able to text. Sure. And by the way, you can sign up with FEMA. If you go to one of FEMA's websites, I think it's simply FEMA.gov, and I'll give you the exact link here in a second. But yeah. you go there, and you can program these uh, numbers into your phone, and then they will send you texts so that when something is bad that's going on, you're getting information. Of course, you're going to want to listen to the radio, too. Sure. But it's nice to have that added eyes and ears. And don't forget, pot, you know, you want potted water. You want to definitely have something that you've, you've kept. Uh, that's at home. That's at home. Yeah. Even stuff that's in your bag. I mean, you right. sometimes when you buy that, you want to label it with a Sharpie when you bought it. And right. it's, it's kind of smart every couple of years to change out those bottles and mm-hmm. and just replace them out, obviously. So still with, with the things you want to have in your car, again, you want to make sure you have the water, the food, warm clothes, boots, um, a hat. And I have my sunglasses. <laughs> Two pair. I, I know, you know, and all those things. Um, and then if you can't get a, a spare cell phone and batteries, you know, there's there, there are great products out there. One that's made by this company called Eton, right? Yeah, that's and a great thing. It's a crank it's radio a crank and flashlight. It's a crank and even solar powered right. radio combo flashlight. It's maybe, a, I don't know, 150 bucks, $200, but it's really a, a terrific um, disaster preparedness tool. Yeah, and yeah. that's and that's really the only way that you're going to have communication with the outside world. It's just a radio signal, so you better have that mm-hmm. handy. And if mm-hmm. you don't have the crank kind, you, like Cindy's point, you better have some spare batteries because you're going to need them. Yeah, you can never have too many batteries, especially for your car kit. You know, you really want to make sure you have all that. But that website I was telling you about, it's called FEMA.gov. And when you go there, you'll see that they have um, all these different things you can sign up for to be able to get these texts. You know what I mean? When there is truly some kind of a, a natural disaster. And right? then also another thing that might be helpful, copies of personal documents like, you know, your address, maybe where your home is, the lease to the home, passports, birth certificates, insurance policies, all those things are going to be essential in, in the event that you are stranded somewhere and you may need medical attention. Right, right. So now so those are the things that you would want to have in your car kit. And, and by the way, don't forget having some cash. Having and you know, it's kind of hard because, or it's also hard to have like M and M's in your car kit because all of a sudden, if you're, you know, in regular life, going in, I'm kind of hungry, and you remember you have your car kit, you kind of sneak it out, right? And then you wouldn't have it later, and or I needed a five more bucks to get you know some gas for my car. I have the cash in my kit. Yeah, you have to kind of be, you know, forget that it's there. Yeah, that's that's because otherwise Sometimes you're going to be like, hey, Wait a minute, there's forty. <laughs> I can get the pizza with that. You got yeah. You got to hold off on that. You know, it kind of is going to mess you up. Yeah. So, but that's your car kit. But now let's take you to your home. Now at your home, Eric Stromer, yeah. do you have a big kit? It's going to be, it's not just a kit, it's almost more than that. It's like we have this trash barrel that's full of stuff to last us for three weeks. Yeah. Do you have something I, like that? I have probably a week supply. That's about it. Good. That's yeah. good. But I've got the water. I've got the canned goods. In a trash can- barrel kind yeah. of a thing? No. no? Uh, it's in a, a plastic container in the storage. Like a tub or yeah, something. exactly. Okay. Exactly. Well, something that you might want to consider to even have more storage is get one of those large trash barrels that you can get the big box stores okay and then you put you layer it in a way that you put the things that are the heaviest on the bottom that you wouldn't need right away and then the medium like maybe even put like a butane burner you know that's not a bad idea you know and then some of the canned goods and then in the middle level you know maybe put some of the um some clothing and extra spare supplies but then the very very top you'd want to have a flashlight 
a radio, some spare batteries. I mean, some things you need, and a first aid kit. Boom, that should be yeah. all at the very top as you've kind of layered this kind of like a tiramisu salad, or dessert, I should say. And by the way, we have this um, how, to, how to stage your kit on the website right now if you go to yourhomewizards.com. But when you put together this, this trash barrel of stuff, it's important to have like a list, an inventory, at the very top because every couple of years you got to change it out. You got to swap this stuff out. There's no question. Because sometimes you know the canned chili is not going to last forever. There's and, no, and, and even if you do heat it on the Bunsen burner, it still may not be good. So definitely swap wouldn't. it out. Yeah, yeah, and the water and all that. Yeah. So when we come back, we have some more things that you need to have in that home kit, and then also that uh, that spare, like maybe under the bed just ready to go kit so that you're prepared no matter what kind of disaster may strike so that you are ready and of course your entire family is ready like the pets and kids and all that kind of stuff right you're listening to home wizards make sure you go to the website yourhomewizards.com and you can even download or cut cut, copy and paste the list of all the things you want to have uh, in your emergency kits eric stormer cindy dole keep it here we love to improve your home and improve your life Grocery shopping for now. Remember to maybe stock up on a couple extra cans for later. Now, what I mean is an emergency kit can be expensive. And so it kind of is practical to, let's say you're in the soup section, get a couple of extra cans of chicken noodle soup. Get a couple extra whatevers of chili. And then over a few weeks' time, you will have had, you will have assembled maybe almost you oh, know, that's good a good kit. Because yeah, it seems overwhelming if you're doing it all at once. It's a couple hundred dollars at yeah, least. Is. That's just for like one or two people. And then if you're you know, buying for a whole family, and right. it's, it can be hundreds of dollars to have enough food and stuff to get you along for three weeks. What would be your go-to favorite gourmet meal if you were out in the field? Gourmet. And you know, and you got one you got one meal to eat. What would it oh, be? Geez. Would it be the tuna? Would you go with the beans? <laughs> well, there's certain things that you need when you are, you know, in a disaster. You know, oh, by the way, this is Home Wizards, and I'm Cindy Dole. I'm Eric Stroman. And, you know, the, when, you're, when there's a problem like this, we're talking about emergency kits for, you know, a natural disaster fueling your body during an emergency is different from your everyday diet, right? Well, yeah, you got, got to have those carbs. You need to have more energy. So this isn't the time to be thinking about, you know, your diet, your low-carb diet. You don't want, is, it doesn't matter if you look fat in the jeans you know, at no, this point. Don't, no, don't worry about the skinny yeah, jeans. No. You want the calories, right? Yeah. You want the nutrients and some fiber, and generally, you know, you want to think of things that maybe aren't as salty because... You're, you're going to be, be walking around. You're going to be needing more water, and, yeah. you know, water is precious. So make a list. You know, you can maybe go through your pantry this weekend and start looking at things that maybe you could take away from your pantry and put it now in a big trash barrel. Donate it to the old kit that you're going to survive on for for a couple of days. This is your hunker down kit that you'll be able to use for you, for your family, for the next few weeks. I think I'm going peanut butter for my gourmet meal. I have peanut butter. I love that. Chili. You know, yeah. but peanut butter is a great source of energy. And now that, it, you know, it comes in those plastic containers, it's not as heavy. You can fit it sure. in your, your That's pretty a good easily. Idea. Yeah. Um, whole wheat crackers are great. Maybe even low sodium are a good fit. Oh, nuts. and by the way, not nuts are great. Trail but, mixes. And don't forget duct tape. You got to have duct tape. Uh, it's not I wouldn't a food want to eat item. the duct no, tape. <laughs> but you got to have it. It's a good supply. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Uh, more food items, cereal. You know, you can get a lot of, you can even get the cereal bars, the granola bars, yep. the power bars. I mean, because they're not only good to supercharge, but they, uh, they're easy to pack in your kit. You could do some canned juices. You could do some canned juices. Sure. Yeah. You could do, of course, like, yeah, the tuna. You could dry, d- dried meats. The only oh, thing, but, the but jerky. A little salty, though. Yeah. But maybe you can get some true. less sodium, yeah. Um, and, of course, you want to have lots of uh, lots of bottled water. I mean, in fact, you want to have at least a three-day supply, but I, we went with several weeks' worth, so at least one gallon per person per day. Do you want to hear something really sad? No. One of my Well, I'm going to tell you anyway. Okay. One of my main things that I would want to have in this kit would be instant coffee. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's not sad. I bet you a lot of people, I'm right there with you because you, you know, know what's going to happen you in get a the day. horrible headache. We're going to have a terrible headache. Yeah. Well, not only you put some, some uh, coffee in there, you put a bottle of wine. <laughs> yes, you would, because the nighttime is the right time. You're a lot of stress. In fact, we even have a Monopoly game in our hunker down. Oh, man, you guys have really kit. thought through this. Because seriously, you want to maybe have some toys for the family to kind of, Deck of cards. de-stress. Deck of cards. Yeah. yeah. What about some uh, Gatorade? And uh, protein powdered milk, that there kind of go. stuff. That's right. Really, really helpful. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget even multivitamins. These are all things that you want to have to stockpile, you know, for any of these kind of natural disasters, you know? Things like Benadryl might be helpful, any, like an antihistamine. Ooh, very good you know, idea. S- things that are disinfectants, gauze good. pads, you know, all mm-hmm. the all the health mm-hmm. things that you, you mm-hmm. never think of. So there's a bunch of different websites that you should start kind of putting in your little note. If you ever use Evernote or some of your little notes in your phone or just old school, write it down. You want to make sure not only going to yourhomewizards.com, but um, you want to go to uh, ready.gov. And ready.gov has this complete website that's going to help you with making a plan, you know, building a kit, all the different things you need for, you know, making sure that you're ready at home, in your car, even at work, right? Yeah. Managing the water, right? Managing your kit, because then after you have it, you need to remind yourself every like year and a half, two years to change it out. That's the that's the difficult part that people often forget is that, like we said, yeah, rotating stuff, rotating all your supplies, making sure that it's still fresh and good to eat. Mm-hmm. And another good website is redcross.org. You know, they have a lot of good ones. And then just a FEMA, FEMA.gov, all of those websites are going to help you kind of lay it out. Now, make sure you have pets. Yeah. You have dog. And what are you going to do with Hazel and her, and her food needs? You gotta, may want to have a little have. bit on supply. I'll tell you what's going to be the first to get dropped out of my backpack, though, if i got to trek across the land to get to safety. A bunch of dog food in my in my backpack ain't well, gonna happen. Well, your dog probably. <laughs> well, I bet your dog's probably at home, but you would be in your car with your backpack probably, and so you would. Get well, but what if home. everything shut down? There was no ability to drive, and you had to trek through in an earthquake situation. Driving was impossible. Right, but you. But the dog's at home right now, and you're in your car. Not necessarily. No, maybe the together. dogs. Maybe the dogs in the car with us. Uh-oh. What well, are we doing? You got to give a protein bar to Hazel. I'm gonna. Well, yeah, but Hazel's I'm not carrying. Dog. I'm not carrying dog food. Okay, around. you don't have to. I'm just telling you. Um, <laughs> by the way, you know, back to the home kit. Listen, it's me. It's my survival. You can have here. whatever you like. Um, I love the idea of having an old school rotary phone, which we have. In fact, yeah. in our garage, I have my original childhood phone that has the old uh, original childhood phone number that I grew up with and it's there you wow. know, the, the rotary dial kind because that's the kind of phone that'll work where yeah you, they don't get knocked out where you don't need electricity right because a lot of you know even a lot of our landline phones you need to have some sure. power yeah and that you know that's a really good point because most of the phones that plug into the wall now have some electrical component to them you are thinking ahead. So you can go on eBay, by the way, and yeah. buy an old school rotary phone for about $20, 25 Do you remember how long it used to take to dial um, nines? <laughs> I know, I know, yeah. I know. And they actually made little plastic devices you put in the finger slot sure, right, to turn the, uh-huh. them with your hand because uh-huh. you didn't want to tax your finger. I think you had no. to check it out. I think you need to have one of these yeah. because it's kind of like a piece of nostalgia. But it's also going to be like some, everyone's going to want to come to your house and, and the other you've got the phone. Th- the other thing, too, when you're in your car, you're not thinking about, you know, I, I rely exclusively on my navigation system in my phone. You need if maps. You need you old need maps. maps. You need old regular maps yeah. with, with routes, escape routes, or meetup points. If in a day we don't hear from each other, we're going to meet at this place. Now, here's yeah. a few things you probably didn't think of, too. You what? need a whistle. That's a really because, good idea. Because, you know, it sounds kind of like, where are you going to get a whistle? We're probably like a sports chalet or one of these kind of yep, sporting good places. Have a whistle because otherwise, how are people going to find you? You know, or, or like, let's say you're trapped and they can't hear you scream, but you can do this high pitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? They can, they, they, oh, there's Eric. He's over there. He's buried in that rubble. Let's <laughs> go gonna, find him. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to also think of... Um, not only blankets and sleeping yeah. bag. Now, we're talking about the home kit and the big, you know, like for the couple weeks to hunker down. You want to make sure you have some rain gear. You want to also make sure you have toilet stuff. To- toilet supplies. A toilet. Now, here's, you want to know how you make your own toilet? Go ahead. What do you got? You have a bucket. Duh. And then you have Five some gallon. old. And then you have some old, you know, garbage bags. Yeah. 
And there you go. Mm. And you might have some old toilet paper. Not old, but some new. Yeah. Have some toilet paper in your home kit because if you're hunkering down for a few weeks. Guess what? There you go. Yeah. It's only so often you can use the pond to to try and no, flush your toilet. I'm not going right? to do You I'm can't do it. Do, yeah. Well, the, let's you, talk about that, yeah. by the way. The toilet, the Gone. back part of the toilet is water that you can drink. You can drink that if you need it. Yes. Just not the just bowl. Just put a little soup ladle in there, and here, k- kids, get in here and get in line. Here's your water. <laughs> Maybe a little slice of lemon, some I cucumber. I don't know why not. <laughs> like that spa water. Exactly. You just have chunks of cucumber sure. floating around in the back of the That's toilet. That's kind of a neat idea. <laughs> it kind of gives, it kind of, you know, fancies it up no, a little bit. No, but people way. don't realize, you're right, that is fresh water. That's not it's, going through the, the really, toilet If you really, yeah. Don't forget other things like, um, what about contact lenses? I know. And glasses. It kind of reminds me of that Twilight Zone episode where oh, the guy yes. that wanted to read forever and it was the end of the world yeah. and he had all the books he would ever want, but he lost his he glasses. Lost his, yeah, they got crushed. It's one, terrible. One lens. Terrible. <laughs> it's tragic. Yeah. So I don't want that to happen to no. you. So, <laughs> maybe a spare pair then. Spare have a spare pair, pair of glasses. And maybe even have some household liquid bleach. In oh, your, bleach does wonders for that, many things. In that big sure. trash you know, bucket that you're going to have to keep all your work gloves the and a wrench on. to turn off the... To turn off the gas. You got it. You got it, we got it on our, our website. Your gas Eric off. Storm with Cindy Dole. You're listening to Home Wizards. Well, you hear us talk about our website, and we're proud of it because there's all kinds of info there that's uh, updated all the time. And so if you go to yourhomewizards.com, you will see things. We've got some great ideas getting ready for St. Patty's Day. Man, there's a cute picture on there. you got to check it out. (laughs) We're not going to tell you about (laughs) it. Just go look at it. Picture if you're a pet lover especially. Uh And then we have uh, great videos, uh, all kinds of how-to videos, and then articles that you can read and then later download. And, of course, you can listen to past shows. And don't forget our contests that always are happening. They're always happening. Free giveaways. Some big ones are, are continuing to come just around the corner. So just make sure that you have on your uh, websites to visit. Yourhomewizards.com? Yeah, just yourhomewizards.com. The only requirement is please uh, email us. Let us know what's going on in your home and your life and the kind of things you'd like us to talk about. And we're about. never going to send you spam or things that you don't want. You yeah. might send a can of spam, but you're not going to send For spam. For your earthquake email. kit. Yourhomewizards.com. Right. Yourhomewizards.com. Jesse. Let's go, guys. Hey, did you guys know that kids who play sports